The University of Tennessee Chattanooga continues to deal with group exposures to COVID-19 just before the start of the fall semester. Good evening, I'm Abby Kirk. This includes Greek life. Now comes the question of how they will operate safely. I'm Dave Staley. Thank you so much for joining us. The school says they're asking one of their sororities and anybody who's been in contact with them to go and get tested. They asked the same thing for one of their fraternities yesterday as well. Isaiah Kim Martinez joins us in the studio now with those details and how this is affecting students coming in. Abby Day, the school is tracing this back to two different Delta Zeta parties. The health department says happened last Saturday. Both locations where they were held say they were unaware of how large the groups got. Now this is leaving some families warning their students to be cautious about their social activities going forward. Bailey Anderson starts her freshman year at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga on Monday. She's feeling a mix of emotions, nervous and eager at the same time. I have to leave my family, but it's also, I'm also excited because it's a new experience and I get to be out on my own. And what a semester to start college, right? Essentially changing the way students have done things for years, how they attend classes. This is definitely not how I like thought my freshman year would be in college, but it is what it is. And how they connect with other people at social events. Wait, just wait, wait until the pandemic passes. If she attends an event, uh, practice social distancing. Anderson's uncle Demetrius says he wants his niece to join a sorority, but only when the time is right. He's likely not the only one thinking this way. This weekend, the school and health department announced potential COVID-19 exposures involving both fraternity Kappa Sigma and sorority Delta Zeta. Health officials say for the sorority, this stemmed from two separate parties at Bluebird Row Apartments and Chattanooga Billiards Club in downtown Chattanooga. Managers tell us they don't know how big the groups got. It concerns me because I wonder if we're if we're just not taking uh, this virus seriously. UTC averages more than 1,100 students in Greek life each each year, making up around 10% of the student body. This year, the school says they're encouraging no gatherings of more than 10 people, a recommendation that could continue to spark challenges for these college students. I live with my grandma and I try to keep my distance from people. Anderson says this will be a struggle for her too, but like many, she's keeping her family's safety in mind with each decision she makes as she starts college. We've reached out to Delta Zeta for a statement. We haven't heard back yet, but we're looking into getting more clarity on what social gatherings are allowed in Greek life this semester at UTC. Dave. Isaiah Kim Martinez, thank you. Some organizations at UTC say they're opting to hold virtual gatherings and events instead of in-person events, and in some cases, choosing to host a mix of the two.